Hey guys, it's Kiki and I'm back with some new hair product goodies that I wanted to share with you guys. I have about 10 products. Some of them are repeats. Yeah, I don't want this video to be too long so I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. The first product is the Herbal Lessons Touchably Smooth Conditioner. It has lily extract in it. You get 23.7 fluid ounces and I got this on sale for like $3 which is awesome for the quantity of this product. It smells awesome. You guys know Herbal Essence product smells amazing. This smells like summertime fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that it worked like 100% for my hair. I only use this to co-wash because I do not shampoo my curls so I use conditioner to wash my hair and um, it's okay. It's not like the best conditioner. It doesn't give me slip or anything like that but it does make my hair soft after the fact and it um makes my hair shiny and things like that so yeah this is product number one the next product is the smooth hydration argon oil and shea butter conditioner and i purchased this from rite aid i believe rite aid i think it says indulge your senses with this creamy blend of moisturizing shea butter to balance hair and scalp while weightless argan oil restores luster and shine giving you silky smooth strands or soften your natural curls for hydration protection. So I saw that it said hydrating your curls. If you guys have curly hair you know that your curls need some hydration, some moisturization and all of that good stuff. So I was like let me go ahead and try this. Um, this conditioner worked pretty well. I wouldn't say that it was the best conditioner but it did um, what it claimed to do and it did provide some slip to my hair. I used this about three times. Um, this conditioner smells amazing. It smells like coconut, vanilla, any like warm scented items. That's what this smells like. It smells so good and it lingers in your hair. This smells bomb. So yeah, I probably would repurchase this. It's not all natural, but it does have nice ingredients and the ingredient list is not like a paragraph long. The next product is the Aubrey Honeysuckle Rose Moisturizing Conditioner. And if you guys have been following my journey, you know like towards the beginning of my hair journey, I was using the Aubrey Organics Honeysuckle Rose Moisturizing Conditioner. Um, this is a deep conditioner. It detangles and smooths for ultra soft, shiny, touchable hair. It's for dry, brittle hair. So, you know, you guys know that I have kinky, coarse hair. You don't know I have coarse hair. You have never touched my hair before. <sighs> Butter rum. <laughs> yeah, this deep conditioner is okay. It's okay. Um, it worked well for my transitioning hair, worked well for my relaxed hair, but it's not like the bomb.com for my natural hair. But you know what I'm saying? It does the trick. I had to put this in a, another container because it's so thick, like it's super thick, like not going anywhere thick. <laughs> yeah, it's really thick and creamy, which is something that I really like for my natural hair. I find that when I do deep condition my hair, I have to sit under a hooded dryer, which mine's broke and I have to purchase another one. My deep conditioners work so well when I sit under a hooded dryer because I feel like the deep conditioner penetrates my hair better. It leaves my hair more manageable, more smooth, more softer. When I apply a plastic cap and then I apply my scarf, it just doesn't like moisturize my hair enough as, as opposed to me sitting under my hooded dryer. So I do have to purchase another hooded dryer which is only about $25 and I really do think that factors into keeping my hair soft and moisturized so yeah again this is the Arbery Honeysuckle Rose Moisturizing Deep Conditioner and I purchased this from I think Vitacost it was really inexpensive it was like six dollars which it was on sale so I had to purchase two as you guys can see right here and I squeezed pretty much both of these into this old Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie container. And it just works so much more better. Like I can just, you know, scoop the product out and just apply it to my hair. 
and I do apply deep conditioner to dry hair. And this conditioner says to apply it to dry hair, so that is a plus because I do deep condition on dry hair. For the next product, um, it is the Softy Extra Hold No Flaking No Alcohol Protein Styling Gel. This is the best value, so it's like super huge. You get 32 ounces. Uh, I just love the way protein styling gel smells. It's like so sweet and luscious. <laughs> it's brown. If you guys didn't I know, protein gel is brown. And it doesn't make my hair hard or anything like that. I am not protein sensitive. It doesn't break my hair off. This gel is supposed to be extra hold so I was expecting it to give my hair a little crunch it did not give my hair any type of crunch whatsoever and I like a little bit of crunch like I like my hair to be just a little bit crunchy on the first day because I feel as though like my curls last like so much more longer when like my hair is just a tad bit crunchy and by the second and third day my hair is not crunchy anymore it has like a nice soft hold but the curls are really locked in at that time so this gel did not like give me a super crunchy or super hold like it claims and I like my wash and goes to last me about five to six days and then I'll just rewash my hair and then you know reapply product again I do want to give this another try in the winter time to see if I get a more better hold because when I did a wash and go with this it was like summertime well it's still summer but it was like extra humid and extra like moisture in the air so I guess like my curls didn't last so I do like want to give this another try so the next product is the African Pride Shea Butter Miracle Moisture Intense Bounty Curls Pudding super long and drawn out name it smells like awesome awesome it's you get 15 fluid ounces and I purchased this from Walmart I can't remember the price it was about $5.96 $4.96 but it was inexpensive it says back to natural for mixed texture hair curly wavy kinky quality and transition hair no no okay <laughs> that's all I have to say like this product no like I tried it for a wash and go and I tried to apply gel over top it flaked up like this gives me no definition whatsoever with a wash and go a braid out none of that like it gives me no definition however it does make my hair shiny and just a little bit soft not like intense moisture and softness no I will not be repurchasing this product again it's not meant for kinky hair it's not meant for coarse hair or unless it just doesn't work for my hair because products do work differently for you know different people and different textures so no I tried to apply this to wet hair I tried to apply this to dry hair no 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 the next one is the grow healthy well soft and free grow healthy nothing but mold and hold wax and a lot of you guys recommended this product to me to try for my edges because nothing lays my edges down I don't even try to lay my edges down anymore I just leave them be because at the end of the day my hair is just going my edges are just going to accumulate like product build up so nothing really works the best product that I tried was the curls passion fruit curl control paste that was the best edge product that I've ever tried and I lost my jar so I have to repurchase another one but I'm sure I'll get a Sally's coupon or something and I'll just take it there and get another one which is no big deal I really love the curls passion fruit curl control paste so it's no problem me dishing out seven or eight dollars for it so um, this one is more like a Vaseline type of grease type of let's jam I don't know it smells like Vaseline it literally acts like Vaseline but it has like some type of hole to it it's so weird like the consistency it's I it's just like so hard to explain the consistency other than Vaseline slash grease type of 
jam <laughs> I don't know but yeah I tried this on my edges and like two to three minutes later my edges lift right back up so I don't even try to lay my edges down with this but the only thing I do is try to define my curls around my perimeter with this and it works super good for helping to define my curls um, I did try a braid out with this and it did give me some definition. I will give it to it. So, yeah, it did give me some definition with a braid out before. Um, I don't think I will be repurchasing this. This was about eight, nine dollars and you get um, 8.8 .8 fluid ounces, which is not much for nine dollars and I just don't see the need for this, but I mean, like I said, I do use it to help define my curls, and I probably use this for a wash and go. Well, just to seal in my curls, I'll probably use it for that. But other than that, mm, nope. You can do finger coils and twist with this. Flake free, perfects for twists, locks, knots, and braids. Infused with natural moisturizers. So it has like no petroleum, mineral oil, no sulfates, parabens, colorants, phthalates. So it does have like honest ingredients in here. But other than that, yeah. I probably won't be repurchasing that again. The next product is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. I cannot say much about this other than the price is like ridiculously high it was like 16 to 17 dollars at target it's like a creamy leave-in conditioner that comes in like a spray too um i have not used this so i can't really say much about it but i purchased this to use when i flat iron my hair in the next seven weeks yeah i'm counting down i will be straightening my hair for the first time in one year yeah so i will be using this just for when i wear my hair straight because i i've heard so many great things about it don't get me wrong like the price for what people are saying about it it kind of match up so I'm like really excited to try this product I will do a big reveal for you guys I was kind of debating about it like should I show my natural hair straighten on YouTube it's just so much controversy with people who are natural that straighten their hair that I just don't feel like hearing about it I just don't want to hear about it I just don't care like I just don't want to hear anything about heat damage or anything like that. I just wasn't brought up with the term heat damage. It was more so heat trained hair. Like I will always go and get my hair flat ironed every two weeks at the salon for years straight since I was like 13 and up. And I never had any issues, any problems with my hair not growing or with my hair being dry or breaking off or anything. Like, I never had any type of issues like that ever. So, it's just like, when you become natural, it's just so much negativity and controversy surrounding naturals who flat iron their hair, who color their hair, who do all of this. That's why I've never mentioned anything about my color unless someone asks me about it. But anyway, that's like off topic. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the Insta 10 Miracle Leave-In. It claims to do 10 things. It claims to repair dry, damaged hair, add shine, detangles, control frizz, seals and protects hair color, which you guys know I have. Um, it prevents split ends, which I highly doubt that. It stops hair breakage. It creates silkiness, enhances natural body, flat iron spray, and thermal protector, which is amazing. I'm really excited to try this. So the next product that I purchased was the Nubian Heritage Indian Hemp and Tamanu 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 with bamboo and manure and garlic extract. Which you guys know, garlic is really great for shedding. It's really great for you know just helping to promote growth. So yeah, I really like that about it. It's a growth and strengthening treatment mask. It prevents breakage and promotes stronger hair. Now, I tried this as a deep conditioning mask treatment, and no, it did nothing for my hair. I don't know if it's because I haven't sat under a hooded dryer or it's just this product, but no. So, what I do use this for is my edges. You guys know it has garlic in it, so you guys know that I've been trying to grow back my edges. And what I do is I apply this to my edges about two to three times per week and I apply this before I apply any gels, any 
pomades or anything like that. I applied this treatment to my edges and it really has been helping my edges to thicken in and grow in and like fill in because like I don't want bald edges with a head full of gorgeous curls. I just don't want it. So yeah, I've been using this mask and it smells awesome. Mm, it just smells so good. It has like a perfume scent. <sighs> You get 10 ounces and I, I think I got this on sale at Target. Yeah, like that's like my favorite store. I cannot go in there without purchasing like 10 things. Like, okay, that's off topic. But um, yeah, I really like this and I am going to repurchase this again. So yeah, this is the Indian Hemp and Tamanu Grow and Strengthening Treatment Mask. So for my last product, I've been hearing about this product forever and I never purchased it and it's the Vatica coconut hair oil. Vatica or Vatica. I like I like Vatica. Vatica sounds so much better but my boyfriend said it says Vatica oil. <laughs> so um, yeah you get five fluid ounces and I purchased this off of eBay. You get well the one the package that I purchased it came with three of these and I keep one over here on my little counter. This coconut oil smells so good. I have been missing out on the Vatica coconut oil, okay? It's not um, extra virgin coconut oil. It's enriched with coconut oil. It has henna, amla, and lemon. It, lemon is really great to help to control the natural oils that comes out of your scalp, which is called sebum. So I have no issues with applying this to my scalp. This coconut oil makes my hair so silky like I could not believe how silky my hair was and how soft I use it all the time and so I will be repurchasing the Vatica um, coconut oil so yeah that is all of my products that I have to show to you guys um, I do not purchase products like that like most of these products I have for a couple of months I just never showed you guys I wanted to show you guys what I was using in my hair currently because I know I get a lot of questions about what products I use in my hair. So hopefully this video was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Toodles.